Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 28th of 2020 and ever since the very end of the Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have really been very excited about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney, Lucasfilm, Bob Iger, and Bob Chapek and exactly what they plan to do with George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni all working together as a team to deliver as much authentic Star Wars material as possible in the near future. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that as of right now, they really are trying to place themselves in a more positive direction for the franchise. Given that Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative control, for the most part at least, over the majority of Star Wars projects, she's only involved with the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series, which honestly is good news. It tells us, the fans, that a lot of good things are coming for the franchise. Now, everything related to Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, one thing that we do know about these two Disney CEOs is that they are still working together as a team. They are working very closely with George, John, and Dave. Uh, Bob Iger, by the way, in case you guys have been out of the loop, is going to be departing from Star Wars this November in order to focus more so on the Marvel Cinematic Universe before he actually leaves Disney entirely as soon as 2021 hits. Now, everything related to Bob Chapek, we do know that this man is trying to create an image for himself among the Star Wars fandom. He is really trying his absolute best and doing everything in his power to really bringing Star Wars back to the pre-2012 days, the days before Disney took over Lucasfilm, and of course the day before Kathleen Kennedy took over Star Wars as a whole. Now, with that being said, what's really interesting about all the things related to George Lucas is that with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of movies as well as their new Star Wars universe in order to deliver a brand new mythology to Star Wars fans around the world. Now, it's explained, however, that behind the scenes, many changes are being made over at Lucasfilm by Disney hiring new creators to take care of the franchise moving forward. Now, it's noted, however, that one major plan by Disney CEO Bob Chapek is to fix the sequel trilogy in a major way for the fans to be satisfied with. Now, it's noted that George Lucas is in the early stages of working on a new cut of The Last Jedi that is set to include tons of deleted scenes that Ryan Johnson refused to release on the Blu-ray version of The Last Jedi. Now, it's noted, however, that they aim to drop the new cut of The Last Jedi sometime in 2023 on Disney+, Plus in order to attempt to fix the sequel trilogy of movies. Now, this is rooted by Bob Chapek being inspired by the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, and that they are aiming to do something like that with both episodes 8 and 9. So once again, we can see that Bob Chapek really is inspired by the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, and he wants the same exact thing to happen with Star Wars. Now, I have a gut feeling here that this, that this is going to become the new norm for a lot of, you know, uh, studios out there with other movies that had different cuts of the actual films and or a handful of deleted scenes. Now, Lucas is set, all right, to actually fix the death of Luke Skywalker at the very end of The Last Jedi, and even incorporating some flashback sequences of Luke in action that were partially shot for the Rise of Skywalker to be used in The Last Jedi in a very unexpected way for fans to witness at home on Disney Plus in the next couple of years. So I don't know about you guys, but this really does kind of remind me of what they did with Leia from The Last Jedi being incorporated into The Rise of Skywalker. It's almost as if George Lucas is doing a reverse of that where he's using some of the deleted scenes of Luke uh, originally attempted to be used for Episode 9 to be thrown into The Last Jedi in the form of flashbacks. Now, given that there were flashbacks already shot for The Last Jedi, he's also going to be using that as well in this new cut, but he's going to be using extra footage from Episode 9 to be incorporated into Episode 8. Now, not just that, all right, but also Lucas is already in the process of using the unused music by John Williams for The Last Jedi that will be applied to the new scenes for The Last Jedi in the new cut of the movie. John Favreau and Dave Filoni are said to also be working on this new cut of the film in order to make it feel as authentic as possible. Lucas is also said to incorporate the Knights of Ren into the new cut of The Last Jedi, as well by taking one of the many deleted scenes from The Rise of Skywalker that will be fit into The Last Jedi. 
The biggest challenge of all by Lucas is that they plan to fix the entire scene of the Casino City of Canto Bight, since that was a scene that was highly criticized by Star Wars fans once the film released back in 2017. So again, George Lucas aims to completely refresh the Canto Bight segments in The Last Jedi, and that is really, you know, the main uh, criticism of Episode 8, apart from Luke, is that that was really a segment that took up so much time of the actual film. Now also Lucas is prepared to incorporate a Han Solo memorial scene that was originally shot back in 2016 that was cut from the film by Ron Johnson that will be introduced into the new cut of The Last Jedi as a way to honor the character of Han Solo. The new cut of the film is aimed to be three hours long or so in length, with a mixture of original scenes from the film fitted with the many deleted scenes by director Ryan Johnson while also using many of the scenes from episode 9 that went unused that will be placed into the new cut of The Last Jedi. Now, this is best described to be Lucas's main plan to fix the middle film of the sequel trilogy while also working on an alternate cut of The Rise of Skywalker as well in order to make Star Wars the way it used to be. George Lucas is already in the middle of doing this while working on other projects for the new Star Wars universe that of course will also involve Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni for the new films and TV shows for Disney Plus to release in the near future in order to make Star Wars as big as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So here's the thing about all of this is that I think that what Disney should do is that they should really leave the sequel trilogy alone and just forget about it and move on, you know, treat it as something of the past and just focus on the future. This to me I think might be a waste of time for a lot of fans out there, but I think that there's other fans out there that are really going to be very excited about this. Now I however, I'm not necessarily complaining about George, John, and Dave doing this and really restructuring The Last Jedi and even The Rise of Skywalker. I think it's going to be a fun experience on Disney Plus in 2023 by getting all these deleted scenes to be mixed in with this new cut of Episode 8 and 9. But I think that also it's taking away some of the time that they could be spending on with the other projects, right? You know, I can only imagine how much time they're really spending on these two new cuts of the film with other editors over at Lucasfilm working on it aside George, John, and Dave. Now, the thing about this also is that I really find it interesting of how they're using a lot of footage from The Rise of Skywalker to be incorporated into The Last Jedi. That's basically going to be one of their strategies to include other, you know, pieces of footage to be incorporated into Episode 9 apart from Ryan Johnson's deleted scenes that will also be used. So they're really trying to really mend the sequel trilogy together again. They're really trying to make it whole because there's no doubt about it that when you look at those three movies by Disney is that these movies had a lot of consistency issues. They had a lot of, you know, issues just following, you know, regular common sense. And that's the problem among these films is that you had the very beginning in episode seven, you had episode eight, which really could have been the big shocking movie that would have took full advantage and use of the character of Luke Skywalker, but they completely missed that opportunity because of what Ryan Johnson had done. And the Rise of Skywalker originally was supposed to be patchwork for The Last Jedi, which was completely undone, mind you, by Kathleen Kennedy initiating all those different reshoots, all those different rewrites, and that really took up a lot of their time in 2018, and especially in the first and second quarter of 2019, just last year. So as we approach the end of 2020, in which you know we are already approaching that part, uh, is that we do know that you know Disney's really trying to do everything that they can to really salvage Star Wars and what we actually view Star Wars as. So George, John, and Dave, I do have full faith in them of what they're going to do with this patchwork. Let me know what you guys think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.